Welcome to our all new snack review video with Matt. Today we went to our favorite Asian food store called Why What in Greer, South Carolina and picked up a variety of different snacks to try out that I've never had before, guys. Never seen before for that matter. So we're going to try each one of these and I'm going to let you know what I think of it, if I like it or if I don't. Remember, some stuff over there to us that tastes like horrible is like a delicacy over there, guys. So they can't be just biased on certain things oh got one of them that just fell right there i guess that's a sign already so here we go with the first thing that we got this is from dragonfly it says corn roll and that's all that it basically says it says it is a product of thailand Get a little up close on that that is corn roll so we're gonna try corn rolls see what we think of it guys so here we go All right, it's a little powdery looking. You can see right there. Smells kind of corny. Mm. Wow, those are pretty good. Not gonna lie, I mean, it's got like a cool texture to it. It's got kind of like powdered sugar on it. For some reason, it's, it's it's a weird taste, man. It's kind of like a powdered donut with like corn flavoring, but with the powdered sugar, I could see it being like corn flakes in a way, kind of like corn flakes or something. So that's a pretty good snack. I like that. That's pretty good. So yeah, those those are nice. They're sweet, but they're not too sweet. You know, they're not like just crazy like off the wall, but. Got a little sweet taste to it. I like that a lot. So let's go to the next thing that we have right here, guys. This is called tomato flavored cracker. Let's see what else cool, important we can see about it. Man, it's a product of Thailand. Everything is written in a different language that I cannot read. And I don't want to try to butcher it by pronouncing even attempting that right there. That's some hard stuff right there. So here we go, guys. We are going to now open this one up. See what we think of these. The tomato cracker. I've never had a tomato cracker. I've had like tomato soup with crackers. And that's pretty much what that right there tastes like. Ew. Like some tomato soup. And you put some crackers in it. Or even possibly like grilled cheese that you dipped in it. But that's pretty much what that tastes like. Those are pretty good though. Well, I don't think I would like those, but I would think it would be more like ketchup-y tasting, but it's not really like a ketchup-y taste. It is really like, you know, like tomato soup. So, those are pretty good too, guys. I like those. They're not bad. All right. Let's go to the next thing that we have, guys. Uh-oh. Here we go with a little bit of heat. Hot chili flavored prone crackers right here, guys. As you can see. Check the back right here. What does this say? I always like to look for like the country of origin. All right, this is a product of Thailand also. But yeah, I can't really pronounce what that says on the top, but it says Hanami Prone Crackers. So here we go, let's open up some prone crackers. All right, so that's what they look like. They kind of look like little like French fries in a way. Right, here we go. And it says that they're hot, chili flavored. So far, they're not bad. I'm waiting to see like how hot are they gonna get because you don't never know. Like, I don't want to be on fire. I'm not the best with like really hot stuff, guys. Hmm. But it's not that bad. I can feel a little bit of heat, but it's kind of like the mild version of the like potato fries or something like that, you know. But not bad at all if they're like a shrimp, made of shrimp or something, non-fried snack. Wow, I couldn't tell. 
That's pretty good too. All right, so far everything is being good to us. Let's try out a drink. Oh, that was crackers, you know. It's got me kind of dried out trying to talk and eat the snacks at the same time. So we got this right here that we picked up that they sell, guys. It's called Natural Coconut Flavored Soda. Coco Rico right here, guys. So I've never seen this. I don't even know if this is necessarily like an Asian-based drink for that matter, because they do sell like, ooh, there goes the spice right there. Whoa. Whew. That heat just kind of kicked in real good, so good thing we're about to cook in some, some something to drink to wash that down, because man, that, that don't really hit your mouth, it hits your throat right here. It's not really up in here. It's like all up in here, like on fire, guys. So here we go. Like I said, I'm not sure what the origin of this is right here, but it's called Coco Rico. Let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, here we go, Coco Rico. Oh, wow, that's good. Wow, I like that a lot. Let's see if I can find anything on it real quick, man. Everything's written in English. It says distributed by Good Old Beverage, Bronx, New York. So this is apparently American, guys, but they sold it at the store, so I grabbed it because it looked good and refreshing. I actually like that. That's good. I would buy like a six pack or 12 pack of those right there because, I mean, it's got like a, I don't like the texture of, of like um, coconut, like say like on a German chocolate cake or something like that. Not the biggest like fan of eating coconut, but I love like a, the smell of coconut, I love like the flavor of it, but that's a really good drink right there, guys. So nice win on that. Here we go, something else. What is this? These are Bin Bin Rice Crackers right here, guys. This is also a product of Thailand right here. So Bin Bin Rice Crackers. Cool little packaging as you can see. Let's go ahead and pop these open. And they are in individual packages like that. And that's one thing I, I do like that I have noticed from going to like Asian marts and stuff is they ain't about wasting nothing, right? So say like you was to buy something like this here in America, for example, they would make it so that once you open that bag, the whole product is exposed to air. So it's either eat it, eat it now, eat it in the next two, three days because it's going to go bad on you, right? What I love about like Asian snack stores is most of the snacks you get, cool stuff too, especially, they're individually packaged just like that right there. So when you open the main bag, you're not going to waste all the other product inside. I've seen where they've done that with cookies before. I've seen where they've done that with like... um gelatin snacks and stuff like that so i really like how they do that right there so without further ado let's try the bin bin rice crackers right here let's see what they're all about they look buttery they smell buttery okay they're pretty good. I mean, a rice cracker is like, it's really no different from um, a rice cake that you would get here that people buy and there's like, like loaves like that. They're like rice patties or something like that. It's really no different from that. It's just flat and it's got like a really buttery like flavor to it. It's crunchy though. It's not like real soft and plain. You can see, you can see it like, like real crunchy, almost like a toast in a way. So I don't know. I mean, what would that go with? Like, it's not really sweet. It's got a, a hint, but it's not really that sweet as much as compared as it like is like a like a rice cracker, you know. But it, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. All right, so, win for that one. All right, I'm gonna wash that cracker down. 
Let's try this right here. This is Squid Seafood Snack by Bento. All right, so let's look at the back right here. Let me see if I can find anything, any type of origin on it. Hmm. The product of Thailand again, guys, sir. There we go. Let's open it up. See what this is all about right here. This is a squid seafood snack, guys. Sweet and spicy. It says sweet and spicy. Like, whew. Them chili flavor things are spicy. And check that out. That's what that looks like. I'm a little nervous about this because whew, it's got it's got a it's got a smell. You know what I mean? It's got a smell. So whew, here we go. Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. <coughs> nope. That one ain't for me. No, dude, that's got like a like a strong fishy smell and I can just like see the chunks. Oh my god, and it's spicy. My tongue's on fire now. Oh boy. That's hot, guys. <coughs> oh man. Oh. Wow. All right, so that right there, if you like that out there, you're a brave person. I'm gonna go ahead and say that now. So, real quick, I'm gonna pick up that one bag of chips. Whew, hold on, bear with me, guys. I'm burning up. Oh, man, that was some super strong, potent spice right there, man. Oh, whoa. Oh, man. And that's why I get at least one or two drinks when we do this stuff, guys. Because I never know when I'm going to bite into something that's, like, super freaking hot. Like, that's ridiculous right there. Like, what the heck kind of pepper is that? Whoa. All right, so I'm going to try to get something else on my tongue that isn't spicy for this time. Definitely, a, that right there, a little piece I ate's got my mouth on fire. I'm hurting, y'all. Um... Definitely much, 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 I'm going to say six, seven times hotter than this ch hot chili flavor prone crackers that we just had. So here we go with this right here is by Calby, and it is a honey butter potato chip by Calby. All right, so let's go ahead and open that up and see what a honey butter chip tastes like. Tough. There we go. I'm on fire still, man. Whoa. All right, it smells good. Oh, honey butter potato chips. Mm hmm. I mean, honestly, they're good. And that kind of, to me, it tastes like, you know, like honey mustard and potato chips in a way, like a slight golden sauce, like you would have on wings or something. Definitely like a, like a mustard base to it. Definitely tastes the honey too, though, but I mean, it's such a good combination. Mm. So, those are a win in my book also, guys. Those are really good right there. Oh man, definitely be eating on some of those. All right. Still on fire from the squid, guys. Check that out in case you want to check that out a little better right there. That stuff is hot. Mm. All right, so 
I've never had Thai tea before. It says this is the best make it yourself Thai tea or something like that. It says this is, let's see, product of Thailand, of course, being Thai tea. What else would we expect? So give it a little shake up right there. It says it is a herbal tea drink. So yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not too sure about Thai tea. Never had it. A lot of people say, you know, hey, it's good. And a lot of people are like, no, nah, man, this stuff's strong and real potent, nasty. People got different opinions, you know. So I'm about to find out for myself. Like I said, I've never had Thai tea, so I don't know what we are in for. If I can get it even open, man, this packaging is insane. All right, here we go. Tied to you down the hatch. Ooh, I shouldn't have smelled it first, though. All right. It's not that bad. It looks to me like Yoohoo. You can see that right there. It's got like a Yoohoo consistency. In a slight smidge way, it tastes kind of like Yoohoo also. But we know it's not Yoohoo, guys. So it is Thai tea. So I don't know if this stuff, I'm pretty sure this stuff's good for you right here. But yeah, I've never had it before, but I mean, that's good. Isn't there something behind like Thai tea where it's like, like good for your like body or like digestive system, something like that. I'm sure comes along with that territory. That's pretty good. Like I'm gonna probably sit here and enjoy the rest of this and stick this Coco Rico in the fridge and let it get cold and drink it a little later, guys. This right here is pretty good at room temperature. Like, I don't know, was I supposed to, like, heat this up, drink it at room temperature? Is it supposed to be, like, in the fridge, cold? I, I don't know. Y'all tell me if y'all know out there, guys. So, mm. that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry about all the snack munching and talking during the video, but you have that when you're doing snack reviews. So, Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button down below for me. And if you watch my channel and you live in the area right here in the upstate of South Carolina, be sure to check out Why What Asian Mart, guys, right there in Greer, South Carolina, beside the famous Tadpole Restaurant. I will see you guys in another video. Have a wonderful week ahead. Peace.